Gang, what's going on? I'm back. I was just live on YouTube to talk about the Tower of God chapter. And now we're going to talk about these irregulars. These irregulars. Hope all is, everyone is well. Uh, are the streets red to put CBL top two? Or has the prophet, has the prophet dust his message not, not been received? Uh, I'll leave it up to you and your capable hands. I, I have a couple of rules and caveats that I want to say. So first of all, Rachel looking like she wants to do something. She was not cooking. That's why I picked that picture. I'm like, oh, what? She got a little shin water review. And she did nothing but get played. It was awesome. It was great. First of all, if you guys are super, 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 super loving Big in Tokyo, I'll bring it back, but I'm going to do it with a different visual. So, like, I put the solo leveling one here because I'm like, solo leveling is coming out. People care about solo leveling and all that. So, I put that one up there. I thought it was thematic. It made sense. I haven't seen a Tower of God one like that. But um, yeah, you, let, you guys let me know. But I'll keep. I'll always keep uh, big in Tokyo around in case we need it. That all being said, say hi to YouTube. This will be on YouTube later. Please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell down so the Ghost of the 13 Month series is to get you and you can stay notified. And welcome to the ranking of the all the irregulars in the Tower. I did everyone. So that's from Rachel all the way to Phantom Minimum. And that includes the data version of some characters that we have seen. So on the hidden floor, the sword art arc, as Simi likes to call it. Um, so we'll be talking about that. But what I want to also add to this is for characters that we don't have any real, we don't really have any information on. I want to theorize about like their personalities, their power sets and the things that they excel at and how it may or may not look. For people we have a general idea on, we, 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 for, for example, like Kunidwan, we know what he can do in his data version. So we kind of have to just put that on steroids for the, the real version of him. And I have asterisks on some of these because I think they can be lower or higher depending on how you look at it. So we'll talk about somebody who's maybe at 14, but could be as high as five if I believe these variables are the case. So hopefully y'all got some lists with you. I ha I do have um the list that some people have over here. So we will be going through your comments as well because I did ask you guys to do so. So just keep that in mind. I think without further ado, that's all the preamble we need. Big Tokyo is the anthem, but if you want to shake it up for a while, that's cool. I don't. Uh, all right, all right, fair enough. I just wanted to change up the visual something a little bit, you know. So okay. So that being said, we're going to start with obviously Rachel. I don't, I couldn't remember everyone's Sorperket. So for some people, there is none. And for some people, I added bullshit. So for Rachel, we have the Waste You. <laughs> Rachel, the Waste You. So we have here. All right. Starting with Rachel. Rachel doesn't have any, any feats at all in terms of combat or power or ability that are impressive in any way, shape, or form. Has she tricked? connived and schemed her way into W's and schemed her way to victory? Absolutely. But she's not strong. And especially as an irregular, she's like the outlier irregular who's like very pathetic to the point that the fake irregular ghost looks more capable than she is. I don't remember if I posted um on Twitter. Give me one second. I did. All right, we good. So we we are we are we are firing on all cylinders. But yeah, she's a she's a waste you. We don't need her. She's easily at the bottom for me. I would be shocked or surprised if anybody ha else didn't have her there. But let me see what's going on here. This one, Kelvin didn't do everyone. He did Hendo, Urin, Eduan, Urek. So he didn't really do everyone. So we'll go to someone else who did it. So yeah, most people have Rachel and Bam at the bottom, of course. I don't think anyone was putting Rachel higher than the bottom. You never know. There's always that one Rachel fan. Actually, I believe that based on potential, she could, you know, there, there's always that person. They exist. They're out there. I know they are. All right. Let's go to the next one. Next one isn't so obvious. I feel like I actually know what I think it is, but I have Dada Kunidwan at 20. Uh, Dada Kunidwan to me was impressive in many ways. I like that he had three Shinsu qualities by the time he had reached the hidden floor. 
So that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. We got to see him fight with Dana Jihad and showcase some of his abilities, his lances, and his John Sula electric thunder attacks. I thought it was a really good display and showcase. All things considered, I always say this, or I don't, or maybe I don't say this enough. Dada Macheni's run during the Hidden Floor was amazing. That was fun. Like she was going crazy. I really liked it. But yeah, Dada Kuna Dwan, I'm going to argue, is probably the weakest out of the three Dada versions that we saw. But it was still impressive that he was able to teach them all Shinsu quality, Shinsu shape. And he already had three at this point. And he was smart enough to discern that Kun was one of his sons from Aguero was one of his sons from the outside. So like. Nothing to sneeze at. The dude, the dude is pretty solid all around. I don't, I don't know if I add end of series Rachel, maybe my book and my list. <laughs> I don't know. If we're including data forms of characters. I did say this. I said you could if you wanted to. I, that was what I. I think I. I'm pretty sure I said that in the. In the thing in the post. Didn't I say that? I want you guys to rank every irregular from Rachel and Bam all the way to Phantom Minim from Wicked to Strongest. I know we literally haven't seen many of them, but I think it'll be fun to see everyone's headcanon. I'll be sharing mine in an upcoming video. Side note, you can add Data Zahard, Edwan, and Corrupted Mazino if you want to. So those are my... So I, I did say it. I did say it. Okay. All right. I was like, damn, did I forget? I'll be forgetting. So <laughs> I was like, damn, did I for I'm pretty sure I said it. So all right. Even though Kano had three two qualities, I wonder what one of them was. We know he had the ice and and, and lightning. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I wish we got to see it, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, Dada Kuna Dawn's at 20. Nothing crazy, but you know, it makes sense for him to be there. Then I have Dada Jihad, obviously. Not obviously. I think the can I ask you guys a question? Are you guys one of those people who believe that Mazzino came into the tower as strong as he literally is today, which I don't think makes any sense, but at the very least, he came the strongest. Like, if you compare to where the family had started, or maybe Bam, uh, Mazzino had like a better base set of combat skills as he came into the tower. Because that seems to be something a lot of people think. I'm not entirely 112% sure why. I know he came into the chase phantom in him, but... I personally think that um, at this point in the climb, if you kind of take it neck for neck, their, their timelines, I think Mazino was a little stronger at this point. I think what really sets Jihad apart later is obviously he gets to cut his teeth against other irregulars. So it's going to keep him very sharp doing the administrator's test, getting the items and the contracts and things that made him the king of the tower. So, but I have, I have that of Mazino over him a little bit. I'm not mad if you flip it, if you have Mazino, even if, even under Eduan, none of it would matter. None of it would make me upset, but because it was an error, it was hard for it to save his file, even though there was some other reasoning behind it. I believe it's been a while since I read the hidden floor. I was like, dude was so strong. They couldn't even really copy his data. He different error. So, yeah. I don't think Urek came in only like he is now, but I think he was stronger than the Thrifty Great Warriors, at least by a little bit. See, that makes more sense to me. But yeah, so obviously next would be Data or er Error Mazino. Error Data Mazino. Urek chasing Phantom makes me think he was at least an experienced combatant, but not family head strong. I like the idea that maybe he was really athletic, very strong had some type of combat uh, capabilities and stuff like that. So we came in a little more prepared. But the idea that he could already use Shinsu and throw it at the speed of light and all that kind of stuff and have the level of strength and Shinsu regulation that he does doesn't make a lot of sense to me personally. But hey, you never know. Since he climbed the fastest, but they took the administrator's test, I don't know if he did. Yeah. Off rip, yeah. But yeah, data, data, whatever. And then we can we can kind of do the last obvious one. Then we can get into it. Now my list isn't too. I'm not shaking the beehive in any crazy way. But like I said, where I have the asterisks and certain characters, I want to talk about how high I think they could be or how low I think they could be. And obviously, there isn't pictures for every single character here, so I might have a representation. Like I might have a needle, and the needle just means I rehand. So, just keep that in mind. So, the next, as much as I am CBL, 
we got to be honest. And it will be disingenuous for the time being to put Bam over any of the other uh, family heads. We got the 25th Bam, a.k.a. Kirby. He's at 17. He he will be, in my opinion, up, um one or two. Like if he gets if he gets an access power, access abilities, I think he will eclipse, uh, surpass um and eclipse Phantom Minim. Remember, Phantom Minim is a top three access user in the Tales user story universe. But he'll definitely be stronger than every single person that we've seen from any any ancient na native one, irregular. Enryu Jihad Mazino, he's going to surpass every single one of them. Phantom Minim, the the jury's kind of out on that one, but if he gets access powers, I do think he'll end up being stronger than him. Urek did come in stronger than the family heads. Evan said Urek was already very strong as soon as he came in. God of Guardians said Urek was stronger than him, so we couldn't teach him anything. The mirror on the hidden floor couldn't copy him because he was too strong. All that is true, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, like, like, I was just trying to see where you guys attempt, how you guys were thinking about it because some people that I've spoken to a lot I make I think I made this video in 2020. There was a huge a large uh, not huge I don't know a portion of the fan base who thought he came in literally as strong as he is today. Like exclude the loose like and um and Mazino fight but like up until we had seen him into the hidden fl the floor of death. People thought he came in that powerful. With the, with those many abilities, the idea that he was stronger than them already that makes that's fine. I'm cool with that. But the idea that he was already like a complete or regular is crazy to me. But um, yes, I couldn't copy him because of his strength. The God of Guardians couldn't. He's him being stronger than the God of Guardians. In my opinion, doesn't mean the God of Guardians couldn't have taught him anything. So I've always found that to be like a thing. Like your perspectives matters there. Like. You could be like, Naya, you're a much better basketball player than me, but you're not a elite three-point shooter. We're going to work on your three-pointer. That could be the case. I could be faster, bigger, stronger, better wingspan, better handle, finish at the rim better, a better free throw percentage, field goal percentage, defense, all of that. But there could be one thing I'm not that good at. So, Because he's supposed to learn revolution. I don't remember. I don't think he knew revolution or whatever before that, but maybe I'm not remembering that correctly. I don't I don't know. New fit Rachel turned some heads. Not mine. Rachel postseason one isn't even ugly at worst. She's average. Stop the hate. Well, Rachel's canonically ugly. That's the point that I, I always make. I'm not into Rachel. She don't move me at all in any way, shape, or form. But I so I know people that are freck, that are freckle gang that like her. That's just me. But yeah. Uh, my goal. I don't think he came as strong as he is today. Just, the, just that he was stronger at the start than the family had to were at the start. LOL. Nah, she was ugly in season two. So is Lee's. We believe these authors. At least with Lee's, I have, I have, I have that one line where she looks good with makeup. <laughs> she. If you like Rachel, I cannot. If you like Rachel like that, I cannot trust you. Ruh, roll raggy. All right, let's get to the let's get to our first one at the bottom. I got Ari Han. I got Ari Han, all right? I got, I got, I just put a needle for him. <laughs> so, if I don't, I don't remember if he's one of the, <laughs> yo, don't see the needle, bro? He's a needle guy, dog. He's the needle guy. <laughs> yeah, she do got the body, though. You give her that. I was just taking the, I, I, the way I take it is that she looks like Rao, so she has a manly face or body build, but she's got yitty. She, she got nice hips. And she looks good with makeup, so we'll take it. If you, if you, haha, if you beat over the head with Bam as much as I have, you would turn into Rachel too. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. So he's the needle guy. I don't think he's ranked, if I remember correctly. I don't think he has a specific ranking, but I don't love his placement here because, in some way, shape, or form, I, I. I associate him with Ariehan, and plus, I know he 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 um procreated with Ha Yurin. But needles were, if I remember correctly, weren't new to the tower. Like, so you came in and you started using the needle, but this was already a thing that existed, I think. Swords were different. Guns and firearms were different. But, like, you came in and you didn't really, like, you didn't add anything new. You were just like, oh, like, oh, y'all got the fadeaway? I'm going to just do the fadeaway in the most polished, efficient way you've ever seen. But, like, I don't feel like he brought anything new. So... That's kind of why I have him here. 
and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go through some 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 people's other ones and see what they got here. So, oh wait, I don't I don't mind. Only my list matters. You have Fanta, Enryu, Jihad, Mazino, and you separated them to show a, a gap and in, in discrepancy in strength, which is fair. So you have Arie, Kun, and Hayurin in this tier. Then you kind of have the rest of the, over here. So you have Arie Han over Tramere, Yun Han of Blood Matter. Okay, I think this is mostly in order. If you want me to include uh, V and Arlene, I'd say they're above the three family heads, maybe on Urek Jihad's tier. The space is about to separate the power differences. Um, my choice is to separate the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Example, Jihad is incapable of killing an admin even at full power, where instead the SCU is either a blog post. It's, it's a blog post. Jihad and Urek are far above family heads because of the given lore. Jihad is stated to be the strongest of the great warriors, and Urek is stated to be Arya Han to be superior to him after Mazina took over. Blah, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more. This one adds a few other people. So Oliver has Rachel, current Bam, Hendo, Tupuri, Arya Han. There's no thirteen, but twelve. You got Trauma Ray, Gustang, Eurasia Blossom, Yun Hana, Urin. You that's this is this, see this is this is why I wanted this here. This is interesting to me. So you have Zahard V and Arlene over Mazino. I wanted to see where people were gonna put V and Arlene for the most part. That's very interesting. Then you got a two, you have future Bam and Andrew and Phantom Minimum at the at the at the top. Very intriguing. Is this it? One, two, three. I placed Enryu third because he didn't even challenge Jihad, but Enryu killed an administrator, which the family head and Jihad cannot do. He is stronger than Jihad. I I I love see I love watching you guys argue in comments because sometimes like it's not it's this is not a crazy statement. Like you're right, but I don't think just because En of uh, Jihad can't kill an administrator, it's a hundred percent indicative that he can't beat Enryu. That is just my opinion. We'll circle back to this, but all right. So yeah, Ariane I have here, but he could be higher. Tramere. For me, for Tramere, it's as simple as this. And I and, and I want to know if you guys agree with this I, this concept. It's he has a really a really dope ability that no one else in the tower could really do the way he does, and that's to subjugate control. Mythical creatures, monsters, animals, beastkins, anything with animal DNA, and make him do the thriller dance for him. Highly impressive. But no matter what animal he's controlling or creature he's controlling, they're not going to be as strong as a family head. Sure, his ability to wield it and stuff is going to be crazy, but this look how like Gustang was cutting through the bear and all of those things, even Dumas. Like, Tramere himself is stronger than any creature he can possibly summon to help to fight you with. Now, if he fights them together, maybe there's something he can do to make them as strong as him. I don't know. But solely based on that, that's kind of why I don't have him that high. Though I still believe he can turn any part or his whole body into any animal. He can become a turtle if he wants. Just have a turtle shell have like dragon claws or dragon scales and use like a dragon breath. I think he could do all those things. So I still think he is the strongest creature or trifle he has, but I don't know if you guys think I'm tripping with that. How do you, how do you guys feel about it? Like you think vanquish can do something to another family head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't see that personally. REA over Urek is interesting. Is that, was that, was that there too? Cause that's just, that's just wrong. Right? Because he beat him in the test for the most part and said he would have lost. Oh, yeah, he does. Interesting, Oliver. Interesting. Yeah, that one I don't agree with, though. <laughs> he put Arya off above the wreck despite a wreck already beating him by the time he got to floor. Yeah, 100. Yeah, that's not a good look. Maybe he forgot. We're going to give him. We're, we're, hope, maybe he'll see this later and he'll be like, damn, I'm tripping. Maybe you'll fix your list, Oliver. Maybe. Does controlling. Beings weaker than you make you strong. See, that's kind of what I'm saying, Star Destroyers. Like, it's still impressive. It's a cool power and ability to have, but it's like, I don't think there's a single thing from Leviathan to Vanquish to my nigga Cobalt that's stronger than Traumare. If Traumare decided to turn himself into a dragon, he'd be the strongest creature the tower's ever seen. He got the sword tax. <laughs> 
I have the same opinion of Tom Ray as well. Just wait for Darth Tron to send out his ace Cobalt and tell him to mega evolve and activate special ability battle bond. Y'all ain't ready? I need that though. <laughs> I need that. So that's where I have Trom. So Asterix on Arlene Grace. Asterix. Let's talk about this. I am willing to put Arlene as high as about what is what's this called? Like Fanta? Santa, um, Enryu, Mazino, Jihad, Hun, and Arie, I'm willing to put her right under there. Like, right in that area. Like, under under the strongest, like, family heads. But here's what I believe. I don't know that Arlie has gotten stronger. I think under the right conditions with her spells and the right combination, she can kind of take out anybody. A la loose like how he's like, maybe under the right conditions with the right spell combination, I can do something. But I just don't know how vast Mazino's strength truly is. But I think she could be as high as like seven. But because she like lost her mind and I don't know that she's training, I'm going to assume other family heads like got stronger or maintained your level of strength to some degree. And she can't keep up with them. So that's what I'm thinking. Could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Maybe if Traumary fought with more tact and created openings for his animals, then they could potentially hurt other family heads. But his current style is just sending things out to get blown up, and it isn't impressive at all. I, I feel that. I need to see him on some Megumi timing. Nah, she'd win. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's just hard. I know she's hard to place. But again, the asterisk is there because I'm I would be willing to put her higher. And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something I probably shouldn't really say, but Eastern storytelling, in my opinion especially, do one or two things. They kind of poop on women characters when it comes to, like, strength because of their traditions and standards and whatnot and femininity, blah, 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 blah. Or they overcompensate by making the women a lot stronger. I don't know what he would want to do with someone like Arlene. I feel like Ha Yeroen is going to get the, like, girl boss buff. But Arlene, I don't know. But she lost her mind possibly so we're gonna we're, she has a mental debuff <laughs> but she could be higher so yeah so for yeon hannah i just put ella <laughs> i just put ella for the time being um you know burn baby burn disco inferno she got the she's a flame user i do think all of her her flames will burn harder than anything we've seen any other character do that includes gustang ashing people with a cigarette and blowing them up with fire and enki doing all that stuff i think she has the strongest flames in this tower but i don't know that i think she could do anything super impressive beyond just having like the best flame usage in it maybe she can you think she can make her flames as hot as the sun can she use magma is magma her shinsu quality lava if you will i don't know i don't know We'll have to see. She a lava bender. I want to see what Trombray can do. F is animus. I agree with that. How you're in is that B slay? Yes, queen. I think SLU handles women well in TOG. So I think he'll do. I think he I actually agree with you. He, he handles the women characters well. I'm just saying. It's just a thing that I notice, especially in Eastern storytelling. Hannah could probably do the stuff like the sweet fish or boss. Oh, I like that idea. I like that. The thing Aguero can do, she can just kind of do it just because. I like it. I like it. I like that. I like it. All right. Let me look at what, let me look at this one now. Broad tier. Still climbing slash regulars. Data. Well, Rachel's in his broad tier. Then it's Data with the one. Data Haja. Data Mazino. Uh, 35th Bam. Okay. So, so far, you're, copy, you're, you're online with me right now. Okay. Fully realized rankers. Low tier. Arihan, Tramare, Hannah, Blood Matter, Pope Dao, Gustang. Middle, you got Arlene, Eurasia, and 2P23. Now, now I feel like I'm lowballing Arlene. High tier is Ha Yurin, Kunadwan, Ariehan. That's fair. Built different. Is V, King Jihad, and Amazino, and Enryu, and then why are you even here for Fanta? All right, I like this. That's a good, that's a good look. That's good. That's solid. Morgan. Got the goat up there. So we went Rachel, Bam, Ari Han, Tramare, Yun Hannah, Tupuri Puri, Gustang, Hayur, and Blossom, Arie, Han, Urek, Head. You got Hendo up there at five, my brother? Oh, that's spicy. How you feel about that? How you feel about Hendo at five? How do we feel about this? That's spicy. The defender? 
in conjunction with um Quinidwan, they were one of the deadliest combinations. Combination. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a travesty. What do you mean? What do you mean? What if he's got the ultimate defense, bro? They can't break through. You can't beat what you can't hurt. I think that's interesting. I think he put a brick wall. <laughs> yeah, he did. Brick wall. Then he's got Kunidwan and Ryu's a hard phantom minimum. I wonder why you put Kunidwan over Rea Han. Isn't, isn't it reversed, I think? Am I tripping? But yeah. He said Hendo agenda. Yes, sir. He said niggas bricked up. <laughs> Hey, yo, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like that. Fanta, Enryu, Jihad, V, Arie, Han, Kunidwan, Hayerin, Blossom, Tra, Murray, Arlene, Bloodlock, Gustang, Gion, Tupuri, Bam, Rachel. Other Aria and Bam top five end of the series, but he might not create a family. FUG don't count. This is based on my head cannon feats. All right, you got it, bro. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. But yeah, Yeon Hanna. Hendo probably gonna pull out the limitless. <laughs> okay, well I got him next. The lifelong turtle. Hendo lock blood matter. Uh, he's a character that I, that intrigues me solely due to the fact that he's the one that has to kind of keep his immortality through a different method by kind of siphoning the lifespan off of the offspring. This means he has to continuously have a lot of life's offspring and sire a bunch of kids and offspring. But I do think it holds weight that him and Kunid Duan are one of the best combos, defender and whatnot. I do think that he's got the best Jinsu resistance, defense and whatnot, and tanking, durability, durab durability, ability. Um, that's it. In the tower. So... And also, let me let me let me add this. Um, <clears throat> matchups matter to me. Now, I don't know what everyone could do yet, but I'm one of those people that think sometimes it just you could you could be a video game tier list. You could be the top tier character, but or in the high tier or top tier like ranking, but you have really bad matchups. Maybe you're a character with really good frame data and rush down ability and great combo potential, but you have no projectile, so you could get zoned out by character A, B, or C. So I do think him being mostly a defensive titan, and I'm, I'm sure he can fight, and I'm not saying he's, he can't fight offensively, but I do think the fact that he's kind of a defense merchant could be a bad matchup for somebody who doesn't have the greatest attack potency or ability to destroy something easily or whatever the case. Just throw it out there. So, but I think that's a, that's a, it's a fair place for him. Why would he need to attack if you can't hurt him? He might be the one. Gang. He really not. He is defense good, but can he attack though? He can. He can. Depending on SCU rights, Hendo might be either the nicest or most despicable of the family heads. I like the idea that he's a gentle giant, personally, that has to do something really messed up to continue living or whatnot. But I do think we'll learn more about the contracts and what happened and why he didn't get it. Did he cross them or something? We'll find out. The Hendo agenda is crazy to me, but it's funny. I don't have, I don't, I don't know if I have a Hendo agenda. I just want to put respect on him. But he's the family head that I have not seen at all, really, in any capacity that I am the most excited to see. I do want to, I do want to just see full Kunedwan and how you're in because we've kind of already seen the data version and her lips, but that's kind of where I'm at. All right. So. The next one is, is Gustang, Poeta Gustang, the aloof wave. Now, here's why Gustang is interesting. I think his cerebral horsepower all, always makes him dangerous, even if he could possibly be weak. Like, I fully believe he's not as good as a wave controller as his wife or ex-wife or whatever, ex-lover, baby mama, right? I believe that. But he discovered Shinshu. He's the one that recorded it and noticed it around it. He's a scientist. He experiments. Like, I do think his brain is what gives him the ability to be higher up on this list. Though, I could see him not necessarily being overall from top to bottom the best combatant out of the 13 great warriors and whatnot. I could see that. I could see that. He's he's more of a guy who uses his brain and conniving and plans and stuff to kind of get things done. Almost like Rachel, but he could fight, though, in some ways. But... Also, the plans are usually good. Not sure about this Enkidu Bam book thing, but usually they're good plans. So, yeah. 
I want to see the head one handle tag team. So do I. No, you most definitely have a handle agenda. Naya, yeah, it's fine to admit we all have our own personal agendas. Hold on to it. I'm not. I not saying I don't have an agenda. I don't know if I have a handle agenda. Do I actually have one? I know I've constantly said he's uh, he's the one I'm the most excited to see. I don't know if I've been going crazy with it. If I have, oh shit, my bad. I, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Y'all know my memory's garbage. My Adoria agenda gonna come to fruition though. Trust. Gus thing on his Mayuri timing. Yep. Yeah, like like Mayuri wasn't like the strongest captain in Bleach, but you could never discount him because he might just make create something and use Nemu in a way and come with no organs and replace them with fake ones and observe the battle with research. Like he was gonna come on some crazy timing. Oh, I modified my sword to just react to block. He, he's not actually that fast, but through science and technology, he was able to do what you got to do. Gus Dang, I've kind of seen a similar light in some ways, but yeah. You said you relate to Hendo since y'all both slanging me. That's not what I said. I said that about Kunedwan. <laughs> I did not say that about Hendo. I said that about Kunedwan. I understood that. But yeah, shout out to the aloof wave. Uh, up next. So yeah, I used, I used, I used, I see, this is an agenda that I have. <laughs> the N agenda, free my princess, free N. Free my homegirl. Yeah, so for Eurasia Blossom, I used a picture of N. Granted by his, granted, wait. Seeing Gustang transmute regular options with a massive attacks weapon makes me see what Blossom can pull off. Granted, it's mainly been a cigarette, but you know, true. He's also made the one blade really big too. Good, good point. I will, I will say the moment Gustang starts using his fist on someone, you thought I couldn't fight hand hand time, but it will be raw. Yeah. I'm sure that they could all fight. It just did it very like I'm sure like if he had to fight like if he had to fight high Europe with just hand to hand, he'd get he'd get mixed. Granted is yeah, yeah, but he he's been doing his thing. Eurasia, I just kind of like always remember the blog post that said that she could accelerate Chinsu and like kill like 99% of the floor. I don't know what that means. Do they age or whatever? But based on what we we know, she's probably the best wave controller in the tower. In terms of Shinsu control, she eclipses even Bayak Ryun and Gustang, who are on the in the upper echelon. So you got to keep that in mind. So I think she could probably do some crazy things with Shinsu that we have not even thought about possibly yet, but we haven't seen her in action, so that remains to be seen. I'm comfortable leaving her here because I feel like she probably compensates with Shinsu reinforcement and Shinsu attacks and abilities and projectiles and long range attacks and things of that nature to make up for the fact that she's probably on the lower end of the, the family heads and the regulars when it comes to physical capability, athleticism, and like hand to hand combat. She's probably a little bit lower than them. I'm not saying she's trash, I'm not saying she can't mix. She'd mix anybody in the tower that's not like the best fighters amongst her peers, though. That's just my two cents. So we got her at 10. Let's get to nine, baby. A nine? <laughs> Who y'all think this is, bro? That's two puri, two puri, the god's eye, which I have an asterisk beside. That's two puri, bro. I don't know what he looks like. I've never seen his eyeball. He got no silhouette. This is all I can do. What do you guys think the god eye really is? Like, why does he have that name? What do you guys think? Humor me. What, what, are, what are our theories? I'm of the ability that even though Gustang is probably the smartest, and he's like a scientist. I feel like Tupuri probably sits on some of the craziest information if you think that this God Eye ability lets him like just be kind of is uh omniscient and just know all things or observe all things at the same time. I don't know if the God Eye thing makes you think that he can see fate, free free will, destiny, things in that sphere and category to the same degree, if not better than the king of the tower himself. So he can be on some, I can out observation hockey, even the king of the tower. Not sure. Got the opera and all that, I think. But what do we think he's, his ability and power is? Or is he just the best lighthouse user we're going to see in a tower bar none? Even better than Proust, the highest level. Tupu, we got the highest ranking. I can see it. I think the god eyes is, is his lighthouse. OP lighthouse can stop Urek for a couple of seconds. Tech man. 
tech man in the bottom right, his ranking is from inventions in my head cannon. Okay. All right. You think his lighthouse? Yo, so if I sleep in his lighthouse, do I get a power up like Yamaga from um from some Rias Ratches? You think he, you think oh, how crazy you think his lighthouse is? You think it probably has the craziest design on some Enacore, but even better, it's like super excuse me, spacious. Could like I don't know. Warp space and time. He's 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 the one that I have I'm the it's the hardest for me to rank. I don't know what to do with him because all I know is that he like has a very powerful lighthouse and he's the god eye. Probably a big brother gimmick times a trillion. He probably sees anything other than lighthouse users sees through their lighthouse or something. Watch to re have a a bar a barrierless lighthouse on some Sukuna ish. So he could just block things with no space without making like a, a defense thing. A sphere. He's walking around with a mother box. <laughs> I um what did you say? But your your what did he say? Ah, oh, what's the line? I will let the what do you say? I'll let the girl go. But your defeat has been long overdue, Kryptonian. <laughs> you will now feel the wrath of my omega beams. Um peak reinforcement, peak reverse floor control, peak tra teleportation. Teleportation is interesting. Okay. You think you might be the teleporting god? Alright. But yeah, I, I, that's where I got to Pari, man. All right. We got who I believe to be the most athletic in the tower and probably the best hand-to-hand -hand combatant, the technician, best lip so far. We got Ha Urine, um, the snakehead. I think I'm pretty sure the black snakehead, I was looking at Godai's um, translations and he had snakehead for Ha Urine, but I'm pretty sure Yuri's was the same, but I think hers is the black snakehead. So I put that there. If that's wrong, that's my bad. But, um, but yeah, you said Trom's lips. <laughs> I'm still taking Ha Urine. Shout the femboy Tromarito. Okay. Again, like I said, part of the reason I'm very comfortable having her this high, despite her ranking and everything is I think that, the Ha and the Quinn family have kind of had the most people display their capabilities, what they can and can't do in throughout the tower and whatnot. And I think the Ha family in a lot of ways have been pretty impressive. Um, even just kind of seeing the things that Ha Jin Song is doing and can do, even though he's, I'm kind of weird on him. I like Novik. I don't care what no one tells me. Novik is crazy. She, um, Yuri. Has had some really good display. Obviously, she has the princess buff, and she is a high, a high ranker and everything, and has two 13-month series. But I think Ha Yurin is the best fighter in the tower. If someone has if someone has to fight her, and they can't use any beams or swords or weapons or guns, it's just like, you got to mix me, I think she's the best. That's my headcanon. I'm not saying I'm right. I don't believe... I don't think Jihad's better at it. I don't think Mazino's better at it. No, nobody. I think she's the best hand-to-hand combatant. And I think in terms of overall physical stat, she's the best. I do think probably defensively, Hendo has her beat, but speed, agility, power, whatever else, sight beyond sight. I don't know. See, but I don't know. I, mean, I, mean, I won't go that far because of the god eye, but like, I think she's got the best physical stats in the tower. No vet cool. Though he ain't ran. True. Trom went from Fenboy to Dark Vader. <laughs> he, he was hiding his lips because he like, these lips make me look soft. They think they think I'm sweet out here, bro. I can't I can't be walking around looking like this. You're in being an ape, though being low-key the best martial artist. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what I think. I think she's the best technician at the very least. So she could be hitting you with some crazy attacks. But shout out to my girl. So yeah, I just got like Kuna Doan, a data version again here, but we got the blue swordfish. I think the other one was the blue spear, blue lance. I think he had two uh, swapper kits, if I remember correctly, but this one I'm just comfortable based on the lore and things that we know and the ranking, him being like quite literally like one under REA Han and stuff. I'm very comfortable here. We got to see what his hidden floor version can do to some degree. Having three Shinsu qualities, his family probably have the best showcase. We've probably seen the most Kun, Kun family members out of anybody. And they've all been mostly impressive or in some way, shape, or form. I, don't, I haven't seen too many duds. Macheni Raw, Dada Macheni Raw, Guerrero Smart, Ran Raw. What's there to dislike? He's nice. He's cold. And he's doing his sword dance, swinging his. Hawk!
penis, ball sack. He has a lot of sex. He has a lot of cheering. Let me stop, but yeah. <laughs> you're um while you're in and are you gonna be like the three admirals, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, um shout out to the I don't have too much to say about him because I kinda spoke with the data version for, but yeah, I'll I would like to see his like real version soon though. That would be nice. Yo, look at uh, the year that him and Ende there was one year where Arie Han and Endeavor were fighting for a father of the year. So shout out to um, what did I just do here? I don't like that. I don't like what just happened to my computer. Hello, I gotta do this. Unplug the dongle, put the dongle back in. Or did my or did my mouse just die? Is that what happened? Okay, anyways, we got Arie Han looking at white. He's the white ore. What could you say about this man, bro? I think the least efficient fighting style to use in the tower are swords. Because as as you go higher and higher in the, in the floor, Shinsu starts to act more and more like a liquid. And this guy is quite literally, aside from the kind of people we separate, the king, the Ray Barracuda, the Red Tower, the Riddle, he's the strongest out of all the family heads. Using what I would say is the mo the least inefficient way of fighting. He's swinging his sword through water, but he's so nice at it. And obviously he has the whole REA family law, omniscient slashes coming at you from all directions. You can't, do you can't dodge them, which does work in his favor. I think you just got to give him credit. Him, be him testing Mazzino and other characters. Um, yeah, man. He told White, you can't beat me like this. Nigga, go become a demon. Go become a monster. Go, like, do something devious. And that's why he almost got Father of the Year over Endeavor. Or did he? I don't remember what I did. But, yeah. I think Arya takes Father of the Year, to be honest. It was that. It was. I can't remember what year it was specifically I'm talking about. It was a year where, like, Endeavor was trying to, like, recreate his image. Fighting the Nomu as a number one hero. Whatever year that was. Watch Edwin be one of the last family heads we see. It would be pretty interesting to like the ones that we know the most about are the ones we see last, but I doubt it. I like how most people have the same top three family heads. Yeah, because it kind of makes the most sense. My top three family heads are built different, but you will see my list soon enough. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go through some of these though. We'll stop with Edwin and go through some of these. So Kami san, God. Rachel, oh, you added ghosts. I really thought more people would add ghosts. I'm surprised I didn't see ghosts as much as I did. I really did think I'd see him more often. I'm not convinced that he's in a regular, though, but fair enough. Rachel goes, bam. Two, Paris. Arie, Han. Twelve is uh, Hendo. Eleven, Eon. Ten, Trauma. You have Trauma higher than most people, I'd say. Pope it out, Gustang. But Gustang was one, st one spot higher. <laughs> It is Eurasia Blossom, Ha Urin, Kunaduan, Ariehan, Ureg, Jihad, Enryu, Phantom, Minium, Minum, 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 Meh. Does it say Yoshi Jog and Golf? I like that name for some reason. After ed after reading other people's rankings, I decided to make changes. Arlene, who was at was at five, was at eight to five, and Ari, who was at fourteen, went to nine. So you got. Rachel, Juvio Grace, aka the twenty fifth Bama Lama Lam. You got Tramere as one of the lowest family heads. Interesting. You got Yeon Hannah, Blood Matter, Povidal Gustang, Eurasia Blossom, Tupuri, Puri, Tupuri, 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 my head cannon is that he lost power when he left the thorn on the floor of death. Interesting. Three V Rip, Rurek Mazino at three, Zahard at two, and Phantom Minum at Numeho. Uh. Um, I mean, their families control the most. What Arihan said to White was pretty was pretty bad as a father, but realistic looking at all the other characters. Oh, he was talk. He was spitting. But it was, you know, kind of mean. Anna, what you got for me? Rachel, bam, aka Juvio Grace. Yeah, you got Arya at the bottom. Two pre, two pre. Yeon Hannah could be lowest besides current Bam and Rachel, though. Yeon, 
family rules the lowest floor amongst the family heads, if I remember correctly. Oh, because of the is it the twentieth floor, the flower of Zagania? Is it that floor? I don't know if the floor rankings being low. But okay, it's it, no, it's it's your it's your thought process. I get I get hyped why you said that. Hendo, Tramare, I don't get to downplay of him compared to the family leaders that don't that don't really matter as much to the story as Lopobia. It's fair enough. Eurasia Blossom, I'll just assume that this former couple is equal to each other. So you put ten for Gustang or whatever. Eurasia is said has been stated to be a little bit more a better wave controller and Shinsu user though. So I think you should probably put her above, but I'm not mad at this take. Could be higher. Spells are broken for Arlene, Hayurin, Kunadwan, Ari, Yehan, V, Urek. Could be third, but that would just make sense that Bam surpasses him and V by defeating Zahar. Zahar and Ryu, who knows if he lost power when he left the floor, thrown the floor of death, but the gap down to Zahar is pretty big. Phantom Minim, access are broken and hacks. You just have Blossom, Hayuri, ha Eduan, Ariahan, Urek, Zahar, and Ryu. No Fanta. Interesting. Interesting. What do you got for me here? You got Fanta, Enryu, Rek, Zahar, Ariahan, V. I think Zahar is stronger than just a bit. Eduan, Yuren, Blossom, Arlene, Tupuri, Yeon, based off the old man statement, the old, the mad old statement. Tramare, have a feeling once he truly on timing, about to be a menace. Gustang, Hendo, Ari, unmentions and regulars who have climbed with them but not mentioned go here bam non data corrupt through reg the hard v data eduan data everyone else's data okay ghosts until proven not to be an irregular and rachel there you go some more ghosts shout out to you phantom boss i appreciate that appreciate you appreciate you what, what are you guys saying over here in the chat my bad y'all there's trauma raping at the bottom despite being the head we've seen the most speak to him being poorly written i'd say so or again like i said earlier we're not impressed him throwing out animals again cool ability but you throwing out animals that just get mixed by anybody who's fighting them is not moving anybody that's why i need to see him throw his own punch last day i put in cinema under you everything kind of killed ghost status as a regular for me okay that's fair and losing power is an interesting theory. I've never heard that theory before, but I don't think it's true considering what SCU said. A lot of people think that the thorn was the thing that made that made Enryu stand above anyone. I'm not sure, but it's not it's not a theory I've heard often, but it's a it's a thought process. It's not it's not a new a new concept or something people have come up with. I've heard it through the grapevine, I would say in like the like the last six years or so. But I don't agree with it. I don't think he lost any power. I think he more so created it or created the circumstance for it to be used so it could slit the throat of the king i don't think it was a power that he ever personally needed to be od or strong i think him coming 900 bangs killing an administrator all of that were things that he could just kind of do so but remains to be seen remains to be seen trom being an animal user is probably going to have him lower on people's ratings since trom doesn't seem to have any crazy Mah maharaga type summon not yet at least we got cobalt but yeah, I feel you. I need to see him bust out the gold anima Shinwan Ryu again to see what he's really working with. All the all creatures. That'd be nice. All right, let's keep going on mine. I have V. I just have V there. Just straight up V. V has an asterisk on him because V, I think, could be lower or higher. My personal headcanon is that when Zahar and V were climbing, they were equals. If... If anything, for some reason, I think V was a little bit stronger. But as the account of V being inactive and or dead or not around, I think since the war ended, Zohar had ended up surpassing him, especially with the addition of some of the contracts of the tower or whatever, the immortality and stuff. I think Zohar did end up surpassing V. But my crate, I guess my head kind of between them is that I wouldn't be shocked if V was actually stronger for the majority of the time or majority of the climb. But it could just be that he had the best tension. It could literally be that simple. And maybe he was the, a better leader, but not necessarily stronger than Zahar. So which is how Zahar was able to force him out because he was stronger when it was all said and done. How do you guys feel about my placement of V? And would you place V this high, higher or lower? How do you guys feel about this?
I am curious. Curious Sam. Curious ma'am. I need to see him bust out the gold. Oh, yeah, I, I just read that. Sorry, I thought someone said the same thing. <clears throat> Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Weakest to strongest. Rachel, Bam, Tupuri, Yeon, Hannah, Hendo, Lock, Blood, Tramray, Blossom, Aria, Family Head, Aria. Arlene, Gustang, Hyurin, Kunaduan, V, Ariahan, Mazino, Slash Jihad, and Ryu Phantom Minim. Also, Opera, the strongest lighthouse technique, can only stop Mazino for one second. So, I don't know. Mazino is truly a monster. He could beat Jihad if he had went to a revolution. He is beating all 13 great warriors single-handedly. No cap on that. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Not one bit. You have no idea to put V. V could go anywhere, and I wouldn't really be mad to be honest. All right, I have V above. I have V above Jihad before the contract, but under him after he obtained the contract. That's kind of where I'm at. High tension implies that the attacks hit like crazy, even if they're not super unique. So who knows? All right, bet. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I did that. I did do that. Yeah, I did that. I got Jihad at four. I got him right here, the king of the tower. Zahar, Jihad. I got him at four. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb. Feel what I'm saying? I'm really not mad at anybody who has it the other way around. I'm, I just, I really think we're right to beat this nigga, bro. I just do. I just believe it in my heart, <laughs> in my spirit, in my soul, and every blood cell I have. I just, I really think he could beat him. I don't think it's I don't think it's as lopsided or what like I really wouldn't be surprised by any outcome if it was like oh uh, Enryu versus Jihad and like I read the newspaper the next day and it's like Jihad won wouldn't be shocked Mazino won wouldn't be shocked there's a tie wouldn't be shocked it was inconclusive none of it would shock me but especially especially based on what I've seen and, and Jihad has done some things we have his data version display obviously Mazino kind of had his too. We have seen him use a couple of things like the mystery from uh, the the mystery, the golden needle from Mystery Island. But he had the, the, the super souped up version he used against Hidden Grove when Kel Hellum got out faded and out observation hockeyed, if you will. Um, him just his mere presence inspiring Yasaracha to fight for his effing life, even though it was a hologram and small little things like seeing fate better than some people. But I think Mazino's overall showcase has probably from a strictly combat and power ability standpoint has been more impressive. So I'm kind of comfortable, especially with this loose leg stuff. But again, I'm not going to go so far on a limb to be like, it's easy 10 out of 10 times Mazino wins, but I'm a I'm a rock with my candidate. I'm a rock with my irregular. That's my guy. That's my guy. I could see Irek be stronger, but I personally would prefer it if Jihad is stronger. That's fair. Not insane. I just expect I just I just expect uh Urek to job him. Urek is Gojo. Jihad is Sukuna type thing. Okay. I know this isn't the point of the video stream, but where do you see Loose Lek on this list? <laughs> Loose Lek has to go. Like, loose like I'd probably put, like, here. Like, so above Bam, Arie Han. I'd probably have him, like, right in between Bam and Arie Han with an asterisk that could he could be as high as, in my opinion, safely about this about this tier. Like, around, around here. Like, when you get to Kunaduan, Arie Han, and V and stuff, I think it gets, I think it gets a little shaky. That's my, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but. I do plan on doing like a I do want to do like a proper video where I just straight up tell you who I think the strongest. I probably will exclude Fanta in that one. Just who I think the strongest twenty character in the Tower of God are Barton on just straight up. Just he's you know, just the strongest twenty. Maybe I exclude the regulars, I don't know, but or do one of each. But yeah. But this is where I have this is where I have King of the Tower. Then I got the Ray Barracuda. Nah I'd win. Throw Shinsu at the speed of light. Mazino. Mazino. Okay. Mazino. Yeah. Mazino. All right. Okay. 
That's my guy. That's my guy. Jahad has Calvin hopping on. Oh, yes. J- J- he also had Calvin being like, he's the one who must follow his will, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. To me, Jahad has an equipment advantage. I, I can agree with that. I think he has better weaponry and armors and stuff. Urek just really walked, just like me, he's just shirtless. But instead of wearing a do-rag, he got a fucking, uh, he got a fitted cap on. The strongest fisherman of today versus the, fo- the strongest fisherman in history. Uh, Calvin doing tricks on it is crazy. I'm CML, but no one has more experience fighting a regular than so hard, and he also has the king's contract. I'm not mad at the, I'm not mad, again, this is not me being like, yo, anyone who disagrees with me is stupid. I'm going on a limb here. I truly believe M- M- Mazzino can beat that nigga. He could beat him. Maybe it's only six out of ten times or something, but I have full faith that they had a fair fight. It is not outside their realm of possibility for Mazzino to win. Um, wouldn't be surprised if he's physically stronger, but I think Jahad's foresight might allow him to get the upper hand. We'll gotta, we gotta see. What if Mazzino? What if Mazzino's got um? What do they say? Shaq Shanks is the observation hockey killer. What if Mazzino? When he starts to really flex his power is the fate, see into fate, destiny killer. I don't know. I'll, I'll just make a shit up. It's head, we're in headcanon territory, though. We don't have enough information here. We kind of just kind of go with the flow. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. Strongest 20th tower gives me time to push my door agenda. A fighty fa, fighty fa, fa. Funny thought. Urek is throwing Shinsu at the speed of light using Shinsu control. Or is the man literally talking Shinsu? So are you saying like he's throwing it and you with control, he's speeding it up? Or is he just ape strength throwing it so fast it goes light speed and beyond? That's a good question. I feel like he's just throwing it that fast. But I, but also I think I think he can do both. I think both things could be true. I think he can. I, I, you know how like in like Dragon Ball sometimes Goku could like slow down or curve or stop a Kamehameha? I'm sure he can do that. Like here's a Shinsu ball and throw it. At, a, at varying speed or like make it go at varying speeds with control or just take it and be like fucking whip that shit <laughs> it just goes like, goes through someone's brain and explodes or something I could see both yeah <laughs> that'd be funny though I'll be fine with him aping his way to insane feats we right got the naked Dunban build <laughs> shout out to Dunban bro shout out to Xenoblade that would be Rod F. What was he not going to do when Jihad summons Maharaga? He going to punch it. He going to punch Maharaga. Masha. Um, see Jihad start sweating so we can properly... Yeah, we, we, we need to scale their sweat. Get the power scale of sweat. We do, we do, we do. He would win? <laughs> Again, could go either way, but I'm confident with that. Then we got the red tower at two. And Ryu, Crimson Shinsu, make it rain. Make it rain. Bring the pain. And then obviously Fantasy one. So yeah, there you go. That's the list. Do I have to explain Fanta? <laughs> He's an Axis. He definitely top five Axises. Axisiums. Axis I don't know what the, what the plural is. Axises. But yeah. <laughs> So yeah, let's go through it one more time. So I, I one I got Phantom Minimum the Riddle, and Ryu at two the Red Tower. I got Eric Mazzino, the Ray Barracuda, aka Not I to Win at number three. Zahar the King of the Tower, number four. I got V with the asterisk at number five could be low, higher or lower. Arie Han the White Or at six. Kune Duan the Blue Swordfish. We got him at seven. Higher in the Snakehead. We got him at eight. Shout out to my girlfriend. Um, two Puri. The God's Eye at 9. Eurasia Blossom at uh, 10. The Aloof Wave, Pope and Augustang at 11. <clears throat> Hendo, Lock, Blood Matter, the Lifelong Turtle at 12. We got Yeon Hannah, I don't remember her super kid. Arlene Grace at 14. Lopo Biatramer at 15. Ari Han at 16. The 25th Bam, aka Kirby at 17. We got Dado Erect Mazino at 18. Dada Zahan. I got Dada, I got Jada over, Mazino over him in both forms, eh? Uh, Dada Kunedwan at 20. And Rachel the Waste You. We got her at 21. 21. Axi. Axiem. Axol. Axisos. I'm just saying. I'm just saying shit. 
Um, the reason why a lot of people put Enrio a tier above Jahan is very simple. Just think of how strong you would have to be for the ranking administrator to put you above the literal king. I mean... Well, I'm not, okay, I'm not. It's one of those things where, like, I may not, I may not fully agree, but like, because I think there's a lot of there's a lot of minutiae we're not diving into. So I don't disagree, but I just feel like there's more to that. I just feel like there's more, but I'm not mad at that. Like, I get it, but you have to also remember. So did so did so did um Phantom Minim. Phantom Minim came into the tower and was ranked above the king. So it's not even just like Enryu did it. It's not a it's not a, a feat specific to him, but again, I'm not mad at it. And if you hold administrators in such a high regard like that, they should be unbeatable and unkillable. I get it, but you know me, I kind of have I kind of with the big three irregulars we'll say. So Enryu, Urek, Jihad. If I'm a betting man, I'm putting money on Enryu, but I'm it's kind of how I see the admirals and the Yonko. I don't think any outcome would truly surprise me to the point my draw hits the floor like a fucking One Piece character, but yeah. Fanta is is Sung Jin Woo. <laughs> how many regulars getting cooked by Hadon? Exactly four. Four. Final answer. Let's see what y'all saying over here. Finish the comments. Fanta, Enryu, Jihad, Urek, Arie, Kun, Eurasia, Yurin, D, Arlene, Yeon, Arie, Tupuri, Gustang, Trom, 25th Kirby, wait, uh, Trom, Hendo, Kirby, Rachel. Let me see your thought process for this. <clears throat> I don't think you need any explanation for Rachel. <laughs> Labam James, as we've seen currently, he ain't ready to contend with family heads, enough said. Hendo does not have an offensive role, period. He ain't built like that. I'm sure he does, but he's probably not the best. Uh, Gustang and Tramway are the first family heads we see play major roles in the current story so I could see them being at the bottom of the pack in terms of power ability to make the wake, make way for other family heads to come in in the future and impress the readers with greater feats than these two not only that but those two seem to have more of a support role among the 13 warriors during their climb Tram mainly using his animals to fight Gustang supporting more wave controllers such as Eurasia and V wouldn't say V is necessarily a better wave controller, maybe better attention, but Eurasia for sure. That makes sense to me. Tupri has a very high ranking in the blog post, 11th on the year for someone whose family you've never seen before. And while their rankings are not everything, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Say he's above Gustang Tramando. Not mad about that thought process. 12, Arie Han, cousin of Arie. And Sharon was quite impressive in the last station. I like Sharon, but I don't know if she would do. Well, she, she did her thing. She did her thing. Except Phantom Minim and Enryu? Oh, shit. Oh. Holy shit, though. Um, Eon Hannah's Fire had an impressive showcase when it was fully unleashed back in the Hell Train by Yewa, and the Ass Ratchet put Eon Flames above Evankel's while Evankel's is still a bum. It's still a high ranker, unfortunately. I, I'm not... Your reasoning for all these are strong. Vinar leads pure head cannon, but I believe they... Had to have some decent strength among the 10 families, especially to be notable in its members. Yurin's family also has a great showcasing among its members, Jin Sung and Yuri. A bit more head cannon here, but Blossom is the most impressive weight controller we've heard about. Yep, and is the greatest among the 13 warriors. But skills like that, I think she's the strongest, one of the strongest family heads. Also killing 99% of the population by accelerating Shinsu or speeding up Shinsu is a crazy feat. Arya Han and the Dewan is pretty obvious as well. Even if you disagree with the rankings, those two families are... I have some of the most impressive showcases amongst your members. My nigga Ran. Why do I mute myself? I'm black. My nigga Ran. Mashani and Nieta, White, etc. Jihad and the Red could switch pictures in my mind. Would I put Jihad higher because he just seems like he could have some crazy ability or weapon that could put him above a wreck? But then again, either one could take this. I'll take it. Enry was built different, being able to use Shinsu when fighting administrator when Irek couldn't do. Oh, shoot. That's a, this is a. I don't know. Oh, you know what? That's fair. And I find them numbers obvious again. All right. I'm not mad at that 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 thought process. Good shit. I kind of want to pin this one. I like this one. My favorite. I'm going to like this one. Can I pin this? All right. Edward. Oh, I already, I already peeped that. I peeped that too. I peeped this. Did, did it just happen? Let me um refresh newest comments. I'm gonna refresh this. Give me a sec. 
What day? Oh. Was anything out for review though? No, we're good. Let's go to the newest first. I'm gonna just go. Okay, so no one added anything. So Fanta and reuse are hard. I'm just gonna look to see if there's anything. Oh, huge gap. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Rachel corrupted wreck. So you have Mazino on there, Edouan and Dada Zard. Interesting. Anything here interesting to me? No, that's solid. Not mad of it. Shout out to you. Added blood matter could be even higher. Second only to Ari Han amongst family heads, but a special immortality contract is why his family is not a top three family. Fair enough. Fair enough. V having the best tension is what makes me think he is stronger than Gustang, but I see what you're talking about. I don't think he's not weak. It's just that he was weaker than Gustang. It's just that um I don't think him be having like V having great tension to me is like almost like I guess in a way he has like the best fastball on the team. No one could throw a better fastball out of the let's say V um Gustang and Eurasia are all pitchers. She's still the best overall pitch, pitch, pitcher. Accuracy, not getting tired, control, speed, fastball, change up, a slider, whatever. But V has the best fastball. He's Furia. He just fastball, fastball, fastball. Can't stop him. So in that sense, that's the best part about it. But the other ones just, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Hopefully that made sense. I kind of stopped myself mid, whatever. So you just added one to the comments. All right, boom. I, I, I just I just saw you there. Newest. There we go. All right, so we got Fanta and Ryu. Jihad after contract. Urek V. Jihad before contract. Our league could be eight. Think she might outsmart him. Ari Han could be seven. Kuna Duan Hayu and Tupuri. Can, can they break his barriers? Blossom, Gustang, Gatekeeper's intelligence puts him above those lower than him. He, he uses fire and blaze two abilities, two of the abilities of those below him, and I wouldn't be surprised if he uses it more. If he uses more. Arihan, Hendo, Eon, Tram, Bab, Dana, Jihad, and Rachel. Pretty good. So V is Tawa Jihad for you, Phantom Minimum. Did I read this one already? I don't remember Dado and Rex at all, uh, sadly. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Scythe. Let it go. Anything here that I think is interesting? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I like Arlie's placement here. Yeah, nothing nothing crazy. You didn't shake it up too crazy. You do have V. Tower Zahar, which is high. So people might, might look at you sideways for V, but I, I like it. Okay, so this is the comment that I think bothered a lot of people. Did I read this already? No, this is something else. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. That's not that's the problem. I did this. I, I put this out like nine days ago. Star destroys. Oh, this was yours. And I was reading all the things. I didn't realize that was yours. I didn't realize. You know what I hate that YouTube did? It started doing this shit. Where it gives you like your literal username instead of some stuff. It's like I, I've 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 messed up some people as a result of that. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting some pictures up there. Secretly. Anywho. These are a good list, everybody. Thank you for sharing them. I'm mostly... Rocho? It's crazy. Any other regular I forgot? Nubio Grace. The literal ad is annoying. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You have anything here that I think is crazy? Fanta. Enryu. Urek. Sahard. V. Hapapa. Yanzerzgi. You have Rachel above Bam? What just happened here? Somebody help me. Help. 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 Help me. What? Help. What's that? What's that? I, but. I don't. I don't understand. Oh my God. Somebody please. Oh. Yo. Or Jari, you gotta explain this. You gotta explain that one. And you got you got Blossom well under Gustang, eh? 
This is an interesting one. This, see, this is why you got to go through the mall. This is interesting. Okay. Well, she did push him twice. <laughs> it took me five seconds to process what I was seeing. Heresy. I was say, all right, well, you know, you got it. Different stroke for different folk, folks. And interesting here. This looks pretty standard so far. Hey. No, you're good. You are good. So how do you feel about this? This is the one, this is, I think this, this was the most contentious one here. So obviously, obviously if we're being hyper literal and going based off the feast that we've only seen in Tower of God, I, I get this, but this is, this is blasphemy, right? <laughs> like this is, this is, this is creditless behavior, correct? Like I should revoke your human rights. I want them. Give them to me. This is not a this is not a good take, yo. Any list with Phantom Minimum not being number one is goofy to me. I feel it. Really should have ended end of my end of series takes, damn. Maybe we should maybe what we can do is make maybe do a stream or a video where we think about some of the most important characters and where we think they'll end up, end up doing, end up leading a family or whatever, or be dead by the end of the series. We could do like an end of the series prediction kind of thing. It could be fun. Yeah, this is kind of crazy to me, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you, but yeah. I think that's everything. I think I went through everything. Jesus Christ. You had Rachel over. That's crazy to me. I don't want to look at your ugly ass face. I'm gonna look at Gus Dang's pretty boy face, pretty boy swagging. Anyways. A valid question that people have is why did the ranking administration put Phantom Minim above Enryu? We readers know that he's an Axis, but the characters in the towers don't. From their perspective, what Enryu did should be more impressive. Maybe there's more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I kind of hear you. I don't know. I guess he just broke into the... Because based on what we know, what did they say? He like just broke into the tower. He like killed everybody. Looked like Jihad it was just like this shit whack, and he left. <laughs> but the idea that both of these guys got to be harder than the king based off one feat alone is still crazy. But that's a good point, Panther. Again, I'm not mad at it. it. Just we know better, though. It's one thing if I ask you guys to rank it based on feats we've seen in the series, because I've done that before. I have some streams and videos where I talk about. I, I think I said excluding regulars. And only based on like texts and statements and, and and panels we've seen in the Tower of God webtoon, who's the strongest we've seen on panel. So even though, you know, let's say let's say I believe it was Calavan based on his feats. Even though I know, um, Tupuri stronger. Tupuri hasn't done anything on screen, so he's not a part of it. Though I did say exclude a regular, so maybe I don't know. End of series and Dory being number two right above under Bam. Okay. Maybe someone in the ranking of Michigan does no, does know Phantom Minimum is an axis. Oh, that, that's another organization I'd like to know more about. But again, you think it's because of what he did, he, he would have been really easily recognizable and Yuri called him the most na the nasty fellow. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. Phantom Minimum enter the tower, invades the Hard's palace, kills a bunch of high rankers, gives a brat Yuri a flick on the head, piss on Jahard's sarcophagus, leaves, refuses to explain. <laughs> I feel like he came in, he's like, yo. It's kind of it's a it's it's nice in here. Hold on. Oh, there's a king? Let me see the king, bro. He's not that nice. Somebody stop him, he's evading. He's like, boom, boom, y'all can't stop me. John Wick going to everybody, boop, boop, boop. He's like, you the king? Yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna head out, bro. <laughs> they just cut. Money just cut, so. Anywho. Do you guys have any final questions for me? Anything Tower God related or whatever in general? Um, if not, I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to editing. 